this is C. William Harper and welcome to Purpose Directed Success. I want to speak to you today about three skills for network marketing success. And the skills for me have been huge. First, let me kind of lay this out there for you. Most people who have network marketing businesses treat them like their hobbies, meaning that, they, meaning that they don't spend time with them. They don't study it. They don't try to do their best. They just kind of get to it when they get to it and they expect it to pay them. I'm going to tell you right now, that's not successful. I feel that I'm uniquely qualified to speak about this because I've been in business for well over 20 years, home-based businesses, direct sales, network marketing, so on and so forth. And I will say this about that whole thing. In 20 years, I made a whole lot of mistakes. In 20 years, I also did a whole lot of things right as well. So I'm going to give you the three things that have been hugely, hugely successful for me. One of those things is understanding what you have. Robert Kiyosaki wrote a book called The Business School, The Business for People Who Like Helping People. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Nonetheless, what it goes into is what you actually have in your hands. A lot of times, because we don't put a lot of money into secure network marketing business, maybe it goes up as high as $2,500, maybe a little higher. But generally speaking, you don't have a lot of skin in the game. If it doesn't work out, you can walk away and leave. Understanding what you have is important because you can make just as much money as the person that opened up a McDonald's franchise or that opens up a Kinko franchise or whatever type of franchise. You can make just as much money, if not even more, with a network marketing business. And if you actually, I think if you actually knew that going into it, you would probably treat it differently. So you should have a really good understanding with what you have and how to go about handling it. And that's something not to be taken lightly. The second thing you want to enhance or develop are your is your skills. You need a strong skill set. One of the most important skills that I found in business is being able to communicate. To be able to communicate with people that you work with, to be able to communicate with your clients, your customers, and what have you. It's extremely important to communicate because in your communication you set forth expectations. You lay out your standards. And inevitably, that is your lifeblood and how your businesses flow with how effectively you communicate with others. And the last thing that's a big one for me, and again, that one was skills, but the last thing that was really big for me is overcoming and addressing your fears. Guys, it's scary for all of us. It really can be very scary for all of us. But you can't move forward unless you overcome your fears. Now, a lot of times you may find yourself, hey, I'm comfortable with this. I'm in my comfort zone. When you're in your comfort zone, you're not growing. You need to continue to push, push, push. And even when you think that you have it, you tweak the equation and you push a little more. And sometimes that can be extremely scary because fear, fear of failure is no joke. But you know what? You can do it and you can get past it. I know you can. Anyway, if you found this video to be of any good use or learning for you, please share it with somebody else. But I will expect you back at cwilliamharper.com to take a look at some other things that we have on the blog and inside the website. In any case, take care.